A mutation of the COVID-19 Delta variant is being closely monitored in the UK. Its genetic sequence has been detected in a growing number of infections, but as yet there is no evidence to suggest it spreads more easily than the original Delta, which is already highly contagious. Daily COVID cases in the UK have been above 40,000 for seven days in a row, despite strong vaccination numbers. Health leaders are warning some COVID restrictions must be reintroduced, but the UK government have ruled out a winter lockdown. We haven't related to the com conversation about restrictions on travel, restrictions on, you know, more lockdowns is completely unhelpful. I think we've uh, had a huge job of work getting the vaccine rollout to the point that we could reopen the economy. That was the main thing we were focused on this year. That has worked. And what we want to do is manage uh, the, the, the situation as it is. We don't want to go back into lockdown or into further restrictions. Did say that this time last year, though? Well, last year, we, we didn't have a vaccine. This time last year, we didn't have a vaccine. Uh, the vaccine has changed the, uh, our total approach to this. Um, Stephen Riker, who, as you know, is a member of SAGE, uh, is advocating Plan C and saying that we can't rule out another lockdown. No, I, I would rule that out. What's frustrating is that the government has said that it is the pressure on the health service that will be the determinant of whether or not they act. I speak to health leaders every day in every part of the service, ambulance services, mental health services, the acute sector. I haven't spoken to a single one who doesn't say that they are incredibly stretched. We are already missing by significant margin our targets on waiting times in emergency departments, waiting times for ambulance, of course, the waiting lists themselves. So we're missing those targets now, and that has an impact on patient safety. And it's only going to get worse. So the government needs to it needs to act on its promise, and its promise is to try to protect the NHS from becoming overwhelmed, and that's what we need to act now in order to head off that. And if we don't, I'm afraid we will once again, and we have been here before, we will stumble into a crisis. For more on the COVID-19 cases that are surging in the United Kingdom, let's bring in our rights correspondent, Lakwe Olarinoye, who joins us from London. Now, Lakwe, talk to us, despite its successful vaccine rollout, why is the UK seeing high infection rates, currently one of the highest in Europe? Yes, you're right. It's a really good question you asked there, Aaron. And that's predominantly because uh, the UK, although it did have a successful vaccine rollout, started a lot earlier than all the other European countries, um, including its counterparts over here as well. So it has started very quickly. And of course, um, you know, most people would have taken the vaccine at just over six months ago. Um, so, of course, the effectiveness of those vaccines are waning out, which is why there's this encouragement of a third uh, booster vaccine um, Aside from that as well, this is the month, um, the time of the year, should I say, the season whereby uh, flus are easily transmitted. Uh, people get, tend to get a lot sicker in the winter months. Um, so that is definitely aiding uh, the way in which uh, infections are rising as well. Um, aside from that, of course, the country is, has opened back up um, and people are going out a lot more. People have returned to work. Uh, schools have, have gone back into full force. So there is a lot more social contact and interaction than, than there was before during the lockdown. So, of course, that has made uh, the number of restrictions right, of, of infections, should I say, rise quite quickly. And Lakwe, what could be the next steps that can be taken to support the already overwhelmed NHS? Well, currently the government has a roadmap for this, and that roadmap uh, states that uh, we will first go into a plan A, which is what we're currently in now, whereby masks are encouraged to be worn in enclosed spaces and places that are crowded. Um, of course, cautious advice is given to people as well. Um, but the most important part of the plan A uh, roadmap is to definitely get that booster jab, the third jab, the vaccine um, that is meant to, you know, do the magic for many people that uh, that their first and second jabs seem to be waning, especially the older uh, population. That is what we're currently in right now. Uh, however, as you've just watched there, the NHS Confederation um, is urging the government to invoke the Plan B part of the roadmap, which means that people should go back to working from home. There should be more cautious advice given to uh, the people in this country. And, uh, and of course, uh, we should have this third booster vaccine as well, um, rolling out a lot quicker than 
than the first two were. So that, that is where we are at right now. Plan B hasn't yet been discussed in cabinet and, and the government, as you saw there, uh, business secretary, uh, Kwesi Kwarteng, is ruling out the potential of a lockdown. Um, so right now we are still in plan A, despite the rising infection. All right, Lakba, tell us a little more about the Delta Plus variant. Well, the Delta Plus variant essentially is a new mutation of the Delta variant. Um, of course, we are dealing with a virus. And as you probably know, viruses tend to mutate. Uh, sometimes they get stronger and evolve and spread even quicker. Currently, this Delta Plus variant uh, doesn't actually have any scientific evidence of being uh, much more infectious or spreading quicker. Um, so currently it is something that is still quite speculative. Many scientists and virologists are saying that it could just burn out, it could mutate um, and essentially fizzle out and might not have any effect. But the most important thing is for the population as well as the health uh, uh, industries to know that there is yet again another variant and we should be prepared um, to dealing with this and of course avoiding that from taking over and being in a worse situation once again. All right, we will definitely keep an eye on the situation in the UK regarding COVID. Thank you so much, Lakwe Olarinoye, Rise News Correspondent.